Dr. Charlie Hahn of Veins Florida explains how cardiovascular disease and chronic vein disease like deep vein thrombosis and varicose veins often go hand in hand. For the vein patients, uh, they tend to have multiple symptoms and multiple problems and we have a variety of ways to treat them. And I think nowadays the treatment is evolving and more than some other you know, traditional med medical problems. Varicose veins can cause blood clots in them and then they cause a tremendous amount of pain and we call the uh, thrombophlebitis. Also, uh, the larger it gets, uh, they tend to pull more blood which causes uh, skin changes, color changes around these uh, large varicose veins. It can cause skin ulcers uh, which will take a very long time to heal and uh, also they can cause a large amount of bleeding uh, if they got injured. For thrombosis, you know, the varicose veins, they carry a large amount of blood. That's why those veins are huge. And a lot of times they stay there for a long time. And for some patients, they can develop a, a large blood clots, which is not as dangerous as the deep vein thrombosis. They tend not to travel, uh, but what they can do is they can uh, continue to grow and involve a large uh, portion of the varicose vein and cause uh, uh, local inflammation which is uh, swelling, and redness, and edema, and it, these are very painful. Deep vein thrombosis, the clots that are uh, located within the deeper vein, usually they're in the pelvis, and those clots uh, uh, can travel to the lungs, which can cause uh, uh, pulmonary embolism. Uh, but uh, for varicose veins, they tend to be superficial, and those blood clots uh, tend not to travel. So those large varicose veins, uh, not the saphenous vein. We uh, make a tiny little incision and they use a special instrument to pull them out. And that can achieve a great success by removing the vein immediately. And uh, uh, we can clean up the whole leg within a short period of time. And uh, those uh, have minimal bleeding and uh, minimal recovery time. According to vasculardisease.org, more than 24 million Americans have varicose veins. Six million Americans have skin changes associated with chronic venous insufficiency. And up to 35% of adults have leg veins that do not work properly. You'll find the contact information for Veins Florida, along with a link to Go Red for Women, when you click the Chronic Vein Diseases Story Icon link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.